So the next exercise that we're going to do is I'm going to sew a seam, 5 8 strong here, and then I'm going to do a zigzag to finish the edges. Now, the reason I want to do that is that cotton, cotton will unravel. So you need to do something to finish the edges to prevent it from fraying. So if you made a shirt out of this material, you would not want it to fray, and then your seams come apart because that'll be a waste of all your time. We typically finish the edge, and the fastest way of doing that on this machine would be to do a zigzag, you zigzag over the edge. So let's do a seam. We're going to do it at 5 eighths. Now, my stitch length is 2.5, which is your standard default. So let's go down. I'm just going to speed up the machine a little. Now, if this was a garment, I would more than likely reverse three, and then come forward, one, two, three, and then cut. Put up. Beautiful seaming. So let's finger press our seam open. So now we're going to zigzag on both sides of the seam to prevent it from unraveling. So now to set your machine up for zigzagging. So now there are two ways of accessing your zigzag on your machine. If we look up here in our quick reference guide, I'll see that zigzagging is stitch nine or 10. So that's section one, nine or 10. And remember the one with the two stitches together means that we can use the reverse or the number 10 is where we do that tack down or stitch in place. So let's just pick number nine for now. So you'll notice I'm on four. So let's go to nine and I can arrow over. So let's bring up the next screen and there's number nine. Touch on that. Now my machine is ready to zigzag. So here's a uh, sample of what I'm going to do. My stitch width is 3.5. So that's how far my zigzags will be apart. The length is 1.4. Typically, your length is always a little smaller on the zigzag. So now we're ready to do this. Okay, foot down. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the edge of my foot on the edge of my fabric here. So let's go ahead. And we can see it's doing its zigzag. So if I stop with my needle down, and just put the foot up, that's where the zigzagging is looking like. If I was doing this as a seam finish, I'd probably want a little wider zigzag. So I'm going to change it to be a little wider. Foot down, and on my menu screen, my width of my zigzag is 3.5. I'm going to make it wider. So You'll see here's my width, so let's just go plus. I think the widest is seven on these machines. Let's give that a try and hit OK. You'll notice it says seven now. So let's go and sew a bit and see what happens. Nice big zigzag. That's what we want. So down, put my foot up. It's encasing that. Maybe that's a little too big there, but that's fine. Let's put our fabric back, put down. We're just going to adjust it and just maybe go down a bit. But what's happening, it's too big and it's encapsulating the fabric. So I just went to a six. This is why you typically always want to do a sample. So the six looks much better. Put up. Now we can see the six is much better. And again, I always recommend that when you figure out the stitch you like, on your little sample piece, write down in a Sharpie what your tension was, stitch length, stitch width, and the thread you use. That way you have as a reference guide, or I call it as your book of knowledge. There you go. 
stop there. So if we want it just to zigzag straight on the edge here, so I'll have the edge of the foot along the edge of the fabric. So that's even getting a little tight there, it's starting to fold it in. So we might even want to go a little more narrow. Foot down, I'm at a six, let's go to a five. Let's see how that's working. That's pulling a little bit there too. Also, it's a fairly thin fabric too. You can put stabilizer behind it. But let's go down one more. Now there are many different ways of finishing the edge of your fabric. You can buy a serger, an overlocker. They will all sew the seam and finish the edge so you don't get any unraveling. I always tell my students there's about 10 ways of doing something, just depending on which machine you have and how you want to do it. That's starting to look a bit better. Okay. 